Hello guys, and this is going to be the event for tomorrow. It's now the 22nd, but the event will come on the 23rd. This is for Monsanto to get the Street Fighter V Ryu um, outfit, I guess. So first thing you're going to have to do is go to this lady on the left at the guild hub, and she's the lady in blue. She's for the arenas. You go to challenges, and you find the two-star um, Baroth. You're going to have to go in here, and my recommendation is taking one teammate and then you guys either use someone with a hammer or I think it's the great sword and someone with the daggers. I picked the daggers in this case and I'll show you now the strategy we used to get him down as quick as possible. Uh, first thing you want to go do is obviously pop all those max potions and ancient potions and eat a little steak or whatever to get all your stats buffed up, chuck your demon powders, armor skins, armor poles, mic poles, all that other nonsense. And then all you're going to do is you're going to chuck some um, knives at him. Now obviously, so the reason I prompted the daggers is because it has poison knives, paralysis knives and sleep knives as well as two shock traps and two um, pitfall traps. Whereas as you can see on the left there, my friend with the great sword, this also happens on the hammer user, has a bunch of bombs. Now once you've done all that um, knifing, I guess, throwing them through your a Hadoken, I'm not entirely sure. Um, the emotes and stuff remember need to be purchased separately. You can check them on your respective stores. But anyways, after you done throwing the knives, just go into the traps and don't worry too much about breaking specific parts of his body. I think it's more for um, just increased DPS, like just to kill him faster because at the end of the day breaking stuff and carving doesn't really do much in this situation other than get you like a first aid med plus. Um, so other than that, um, when you actually finish this mission, oh, another st strategy you can use, as you can see now, is that I'm putting him to sleep, and then you could bomb him with your friend. That's another place I guess you could use the bombs instead of earlier on. But I'm just gonna go skip to the end now, and that will be yeah. Okay, so now that we're at the end, we've killed it. You'll see now that it took us three and a half minutes. I think normally if we weren't using the trap method, we would take about four and a half minutes. This is not a big deal. As you can see, for gold, we got three tickets. Um, for silver, you get two. And for bronze, you get one. You only need seven tickets total to forge the armor, but let's go into the forging. What you're going to want to do is take the lift down to the smithy and you're going to go talk to him and wait um, for his dialogue to finish. Go to forge weapons, full set armor and then you're just going to go forge the stuff. It will take 7 of your tickets and like me you probably have left over unless you were hitting all them bronze. Um, once you've got the armor I do suggest that you take it to be upgraded and then augmented and upgraded again because it is very very weak armor right off the bat and also it has um, not so great lackluster perks but I think that's gonna be it um, use just showing me running around with it I wish I didn't have the hammer but this was pre-recorded and once you've sent like 50 gold cards out then you should be happy um, other than that thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys have fun with the armor set Bye.